Wow, what a nice day to ride. Holy cow. This is my third uh, ride this week. I try to ride somewhere in the neighborhood of oh, 30 miles on my rides. It's just great to get out on a day like this. And as I said a little bit earlier, September is right around the corner. And uh, once the nights start getting a little bit cooler, It's just absolutely beautiful to get out early in the morning and ride for a while. Obviously you can still get some hot sticky days yet. Summer's not over by a long shot. Even though that uh, woman on Strava from Toronto thinks that winter is right around the corner. Holy cow. I wonder if she's one of these people that it, Starts are doing, starts getting into doing Christmas shopping already. Uh, I was watching my local news the other day. I think it was yesterday morning, in fact. And uh, they were starting to, uh, on the news, they were starting to promote some of the local events that take place during the autumn. A lot of, a lot of fairs take place in Southern Connecticut. But they were pointing out that one of the fairs that was coming up this weekend would be a good opportunity for you to start doing your Christmas shopping. One of the commentators made that remark. The other two guys sitting on the panel, there was a sportscaster and a, new, a weather guy, both of them just slammed their heads on the desk in disgust and said, you've got to be kidding me. Can we just take one thing at a time? Freaking Labor Day is not even here yet. Right away, those guys had my vote. Oh my God. How the hell can you people start talking about Christmas when it's still hot out? <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> oh boy, is it nice out today. So anyway, August 24th, 2016, may be the first to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> And uh, my guy in New York, who is no longer in the Bronx, but now a Brooklynite, and sounds like he's got a different job than he had a couple months ago, that, uh, as it turns out, is close enough to where he lives that he can take his bike to work. Very cool job. That's very cool. Looks like he's been doing a couple rides recently. And uh, he mentioned something in his Strava post about doing like a mini YouTube series, which is actually a very good idea. And I mean, I'm not sure how long it takes him to do, I guess it's a six or seven mile ride to work. But that's perfect for doing a vlog, you know, where you, you talk a little bit every day about one thing or another. And uh, that might be really nice. Of course, the downside is, from a production standpoint, you not only record the video, and you gotta edit the video, and then you have to upload the video, and that doesn't happen as quickly as it takes to actually shoot the video. So. He may have to spend more time doing that than he'd like, which I'm sure his girlfriend may not appreciate. So where did this guy in front of me come from? I don't know. I think he had a basket on the front of that bike, so I don't know what his deal is. But we'll certainly say good morning to him. Morning. Oh, good morning. How are you? How you doing? Good.
Now see, I am 67 years old. That guy probably is in his early 70s. That is great to see. For those of you who uh, haven't got it yet, listen, biking is the most healthy thing you can do for your body. Oh my God, it's the best thing. Just get out on the bike and ride. It is the best thing for your health. I saw a statistic somewhere. Road bikers add eight years on average to uh, their lifespan. Eight good years, by the way. And you don't have to go crazy about it. Just get into it, start riding, start enjoying being on the open road. Get yourself a little strength, build up your stamina a little bit, start eating better, get rid of those damn blood pressure pills. That's what I did. Of course, it wasn't my intention, but I've been riding a year now. I dropped 25 pounds, uh, built up much more leg muscle, obviously. Um, my stamina is a lot better. I tell you, you get your body's in better shape. You really start to enjoy life a lot more. And don't misunderstand; it comes with a certain amount of pain. You got to work to get healthy. This hill, this hill that I'm climbing, when I first started out, I'd have to get off the bike and walk up it. I'm not only riding up it now, but I'm able to talk to you at the same time I'm riding up it. The health benefits of riding a bike. Just too many to ever possibly list. Ah, oh, boy, boy. Over here on the left, Moose Hill Road. I was riding that at the beginning of the summer. They got some pretty good hills on it. It's good for training. I was going to return to it the other day from the other direction, from the other side of that. Well, there's a different, there's another way to get onto that road and come out this direction. But anyway, I have noticed that they've laid down the oil and loose stone on that road, some sort of resurfacing process that they do, which I don't know anybody who doesn't drive a car who thinks it's one of the stupidest things that the towns do is spread oil and throw loose gravel on it and expect you to drive on top of it. It makes an absolute mess out of your car and there's absolutely no way you're riding on that with a bike. It's an absolute hazard. So anyway, uh, that's one of the roads that I'm not riding until uh, all that stuff kind of gets washed off, pushed off, rid uh, driven off to the side by road traffic. But even then, I think that becomes even more hazardous because the road uh, traffic, the wheels, of a car kind of wear down or push the stones off to one side, create little, you know, little mounds of stone and loose gravel. And uh, Jesus, I can just imagine going down the road, hitting, a, hitting that at a speed. Not good.